The Tonga National Rugby League team is represents Tonga in rugby league football. They are currently the fourth ranked team in the world, and the highest ranked Tier 2 nation. The team was formed to compete in the 1986 Pacific Cup, and have competed at five Rugby League World Cups, starting in 1995 and continuing consecutively until the most recent tournament in 2017, where they achieved their best ever result as semi-finalists. Administered by the Tonga National Rugby League, the team wears a predominantly red uniform with white sides. They are associated with the phrase Mate Ma'a Tonga English, Die for Tonga. They are coached by Australian Christian Wolf and captained by Sika Manu both since 2014. Topic: History. Rugby league first gained attention in Tonga when the Pacific Cup was partially held in the country during 1986. After this initial exposure to the Tongan people several clubs began to form or switch from rugby union to rugby league and by 1988 the nation had enough depth in their player pool to begin playing national fixtures and entered the 1988 Pacific Cup competition held in Apia, Samoa. During that Pacific Cup the Tongans played in three fixtures winning a sole match while losing the other two, with their first international victory coming against the American Samoa side a match that ended 38-14. Over the next two years the national side sporadically played international fixtures but it was not until the 1992 Pacific Cup when they again began playing with some regularity. At the 1992 Cup competition the side showed significant improvement on their previous inaugural Cup effort with victories over Niue, Cook Islands, Fiji and the New Zealand Maori. This run of victories earned them a place in the final of the 1992 Pacific Cup against the Western Samoan side but they eventually lost a close-fought match by 4 points 18-14. The following tournament two years later saw the Tongan side show further improvement with several comfortable victories again earning them a spot in final of the Pacific Cup this time against the Fijians who had never defeated the Tongans at that time. The final was a tough affair but the Mate Ma were again victorious over Fiji 34-11 and claimed their Maiden Pacific Cup title. During 1995 Tonga qualified for their first World Cup and were seeded in the strong Group B with both New Zealand and Papua New Guinea. While Tonga failed to win a match at the World Cup they earned respect after they narrowly lost to the New Zealand team by a single point and earned a draw against Papua New Guinea. The next four years saw the Tongan side appear in a further Pacific Cup in 1997 and then qualify for the 2000 World Cup with comfortable victories over the Cook Islands, Tokelau and American Samoa. Prior to appearing at the 2000 competition the Tongans arranged a friendly fixture against the New Zealand side that they had come so close to defeating during the previous World Cup but this time faced their heaviest defeat to date going down 74-0 and suffering a large dent in confidence prior to the competition. After the heavy defeat to New Zealand their next international fixture was during their second World Cup where the Tongans were again placed in another tough group with France, Papua New Guinea again and the South Africans. Tonga faced South Africa in their first match of the tournament where they were comfortable victors in a 66-18 drubbing, however the rest of the tournament was not so kind to the Tongan side with losses to both France and Papua New Guinea meaning the Tongans again failed to make it past the first stage of the tournament. With a disappointing World Cup behind them the Mate Ma regrouped and again enter the Pacific Cup four years later in 2004. The tournament saw the Tongans again qualify for the tournament final with victories over both the Cook Islands and Fiji but the side suffered a heavy defeat at the hands of neighboring Samoa 51-18. 2006 saw the Tongan side re-enter the Pacific Cup where again they performed strongly qualifying for their second consecutive final where this time they reversed their previous effort with a strong victory over Fiji 22-4 giving them their second Pacific Cup title. 2006 continued to be a busy year of international fixtures for the Tongans which saw them gain qualification into the 2008 World Cup after they finished top of their Pacific group ahead of the Cook Islands, Fiji and Samoa and then defeat the Samoans 18-10 in the qualifying final. They also entered the inaugural Federation Shield competition along with England, France and Samoa and eventually finished second. England to face Tonga in league final to the English in the final 32-14 after they had defeated both France and Samoa. Topic: 2013 Pacific Rugby League Test. 
In April 2013, Tonga took on Samoa in the 2013 Pacific Rugby League Test at Penrith Stadium. The international was created as a World Cup warm-up match. Tonga targeted Samoa's weak defence, and it paid off, thrashing the Toa Samoans by 36-4. Topic: 2013 Rugby League World Cup campaign. Tonga automatically qualified for the 2013 Rugby League World Cup after participating in the 2008 tournament. They took on Scotland, Italy, and the Cook Islands in the pool stage. In their first match, they took on the Scots. It was a tight and intense rugby league battle, but it was the Scots who eventually prevailed, winning 26 to 24. Tonga then went on and beat the Kukis, 22-16, and Italy, 16-0, but it wasn't enough. Scotland finished the group stage unbeaten, sealing their place in the quarter-final and ending Tonga's World Cup campaign in the process. 2015 Pacific Rugby League Test In May 2015, Tonga took on Samoa in the 2015 Polynesian Cup at CBU's Super Stadium. The international was part of a triple header which also included the Melanesian Cup, between Papua New Guinea and Fiji, and the Junior Kangaroos against the Junior Kiwis. The game was an absolute thriller with the lead alternating between the teams and the biggest margin throughout the match was only six points. However, there was always going to be one winner in the Seesaw Affair and it was Samoa who upended mate Maa Tonga to win the Polynesian Cup by 18-16. 2017 Rugby League World Cup qualifying In October 2015, Tonga took on the Cook Islands in the Asia-Pacific Elimination Playoff to determine which of the two Asia-Pacific nations qualified for the 2017 Rugby League World Cup. After a tight first half, mate Maa Tonga went on win the match scoring 16 points within the last 20 minutes of the game. 2016 Pacific Rugby League Test In May 2016, Tonga took on Samoa in the 2016 Polynesian Cup at Pertec Stadium. The international was part of a triple header which also included the Melanesian Cup, between Papua New Guinea and Fiji, and the Junior Kangaroos against the Junior Kiwis. The traditional Pacific rivalry between these two continued as they produced highlights from big hits, to powerful meters, and try saving tackles when needed. However this year's test match saw way more errors than last year's and Tonga made most of them and failed to capitalize on their 55% of possession, which therefore resulted in a 12-point defeat in the 2016 Polynesian Cup. 2016 <inaudible> 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 Tonga fielded their strongest ever team at the 2017 World Cup on the back of Jason Taumalolo and Andrew Fafita choosing to represent their parental heritage rather than their respective birthplaces, New Zealand and Australia. Taumalolo, the joint 2016 Dali M medalist, was described by Fox Sports to be the undisputed best forward in the NRL and was expected to be named in the New Zealand squad, while Fafita withdrew from the already named Australian squad after waiting for Taumalolo's announcement, having told him privately a few days earlier, If you make the commitment, I'll make the commitment. Taumalolo referenced his close relationship with Tongan coach Christian Wolfe and his desire to strengthen the Tongan squad as motivators, while Fafita cited a desire to give back to his father's family. In addition, Manu Ma Yu declined a likely position in the New Zealand squad, while David Fusichawa, Solomon Keita, Tuimoala Lolahe, and Siosaiwa Takiaho dismissed any possibility of a New Zealand recall in order to represent Tonga. With a mixed heritage, Michael Jennings also committed himself to Tonga after knocking back an approach to represent Fiji. Bolstered by Tier 1 quality players, Tonga quickly became the most heavily backed team in the World Cup, dropping from $81 odds to $17. Entering into the tournament as the 11th ranked team in the world, Tonga comfortably won their opening two group matches, outclassing Scotland 50 4 and Samoa 32 18. In their third and final group match, Tonga upset New Zealand 28-22 after trailing 16-2 at half-time. 
This marked the first time since the introduction of the tiered nation system that a tier 2 team defeated a tier 1 team, and the first time since Wales defeated England 18–16 in 1995 if applied retroactively. Tonga beat Lebanon 24–22 in a hard-fought quarterfinal, but lost 18–20 to England in the semi-final. England were leading 20–0 with eight minutes remaining before Tonga scored three tries in quick succession, however, a contentious refereeing decision on the last play of the game denied them from progressing to the World Cup final, after Tonga's semi-final against England, which was attended by King Tupo VI, the 29th of November 2018 was declared a public holiday in Tonga as Mate Ma'a Tonga Day and the entire Tongan squad was invited to the Royal Palace. Each player was honored as Knight Commander of the Most Illustrious Order of Queen Salote Tupo III for their contribution to sports, while Taumalolo and Lolahe were gifted land in their families' respective villages. At the conclusion of the tournament, Tonga jumped to fourth in the RLIF World Rankings. Media speculation questioned whether Tonga's star players would return to their Tier 1 nations after the World Cup, assuming they were to be welcomed back. In the months following, Fafita, an incumbent of the New South Wales squad, Tavita Pangai Jr. and Jennings announced they would make themselves unavailable for NSW selection to continue with Tonga, while New Zealand eligible players Lolahe, Keita, Fusichawa, and Taumalolo also publicly confirmed their allegiance to Tonga ahead of their match against Samoa on 23 June 2018. Additionally, Adin Fanua Blake announced his intention to represent Tonga after playing for New Zealand at the World Cup, commenting, I really enjoyed my time with the Kiwis but it just didn't feel like home. As a consequence, New Zealand's squad for their match against England on 24 June 2018 contained just one Tongan eligible player, Dallin Watin Zilezniak, who reportedly pledged his loyalty to the Kiwis to honour his great-grandfather Pudi Tipin Watin, the first Maori to captain the side. On 5 September 2018, it was confirmed that Mate Ma Tonga were to play a historical test against the Australian Kangaroos. It would be the first ever time Tonga will play Australia in a rugby league test match. The fixture was played on 20 October 2018 at Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland, New Zealand with Andrew Fafita leading the Sippy Tau in front of a sold-out crowd. The Kangaroos held off a spirited challenge from the Mate Ma'a to win 36-14. Topic Players Topic Current Squad Squad selected for Test versus Australia on the twentieth of October twenty eighteen. Topic Former Notable Players Since rugby league has been introduced to the nation of Tonga in 1986 many players of Tongan birth or heritage have gone on to attain notability by participating in domestic rugby league club competitions globally but mostly in NRL and Super League both top-level domestic rugby league club competitions and known internationally, also they attain notability in representing Tonga, other nations mainly Australia or New Zealand or including other nations. A list of 17 former notable players below that have appeared in top-level domestic rugby league club competitions NRL and, Super league and played internationally for Tonga and including other nations between 1986 and 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International results The following table underneath shows Tonga's all-time rugby league results record. They have been participating in international fixtures since 1986. Tonga have played in every World Cup since the tournament was expanded in 1995, a total of five tournaments. Tonga reached the semi-finals of the 2017 World Cup having beaten New Zealand in the group stage to top the standings and losing by just two points to England in the semi-final. Due to reaching the knockout stages of the 2017 competition, Tonga have qualified for the 2021 World Cup which will be held in England. Honours Pacific Cup, 21,994, 2006 Kit supplier 
Tonga's kit suppliers are ISC since 2018. Classic 1995 RLWC, Mitre 2000 RLWC, Combat 2004-2005, Kuga 2006 to 2012 and Phi Ta 2013 to 2018 were previous suppliers. Topic: See also Tongan National Rugby League Tonga National Rugby League Rugby League in Tonga Tonga Women's National Rugby League team